so let's discuss about solving an equation um, which is written out there uh, root 5 minus 6 is equal to 5 minus x square now in solving um, equations in terms of variable x uh, uh, we'll be discussing one very innovative approach uh, that will be used in this case like you see that uh, 5 is uh, common on both the sides so that is uh, as something really fishy so we can encash that to solve this particular equation like we can write down some parameter a instead of 5 so we can write down this uh, equation as root a minus x equal to a minus x square okay considering that parameter to be a instead of 5 okay now let's see squaring both the side of the equation we are getting a minus x equal to a square plus x to the power 4 minus 2a x square so now let's treat this equation to be an equation in terms of the parameter instead of the variable x okay so we'll be considering this equation to be not to be an equation in terms of the variable x but uh, in terms of the parameter a which is going to be a quadratic equation which is comparatively easy to solve so let us write down the equation in the form of a quadratic equation so it will become a square plus a into minus 1 minus 2 x square plus x to the power 4 plus x equal to 0 so I have considered the equation to be in terms of a and as a result we are getting a quadratic so we can apply the Sridharacharya process to solve this quadratic so the value of a will come out to be minus b plus minus root over b square that's going to be 1 plus 4x to the power 4 plus 4x square minus 4ac divided by 2a so the value of a is coming out to be 1 plus 2x square plus minus 4x to the power 4 is getting cancelled and uh, luckily we're getting a perfect square within the square root like we are getting 4x square minus 4x plus 1 which is nothing but a perfect square so we we can easily write down this quantity to be 2x minus 1 because uh, within the square root we are having a perfect square of 2x minus 1 whole square so from here you can check out that we are getting two possible values of a like the first value of a that we are getting is uh, considering the positive sign considering the positive sign it is going to be 1 plus 2x square plus 2x uh, minus 1 by 2 and now instead of a let us uh, write down the original value of the parameter that is 5 so we can write down 5 in place of a and uh, we can simplify the equation to be 10 equal to 2x square plus 2x okay cancelling out this one and multiplying this two on the other side so we are getting one equation that is x square plus x minus 5 equal to 0 so this is one quadratic equation in terms of x that can be solved and rather this is going to be one of the factor of the equation and uh, on the other way considering the negative sign out there we can get another value of a to be 1 plus 2x square minus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 and now again plugging in 5 in place of a and cross multiplying will be getting 10 equal to 2x square minus 2x plus 2 so on simplifying another factor of the original equation will be x square minus 6 plus 4 equal to 0 so we can see that these two are the factor of the original equation that is uh, this particular equation on squaring up we are actually getting a biquadratic equation in terms of x so this biquadratic equation is actually having these two quadratic factors so now we can solve for this quadratic equation like x square plus x minus 5 equal to 0 so the value of x will come out to be minus 1 plus minus <coughs> root over um, 21 by 2 and on solving this particular equation we'll get x equal to 1 plus minus um, 
So we are getting a negative sign out there. Sorry for that. Just a moment. Let's make it minus four. So it will be one plus minus root over v square minus four a c. That that is going to be seventeen by two a. Okay. Now we are getting four values of x, like two values of uh, from here and two values from here. But the original equation was not a biquadratic, right? So this is the original equation, and in the original equation we can see that our LHS is a positive quantity, a positive real quantity. Root over five minus x is always positive. So we need to ensure that five minus x square should also give me positive value. That is a very critical point in this case. So five minus x square should return me positive value. So x square should be less than or equal to five. So actually x should be actually between minus root five to plus root five. So these are the possible values of x. That is minus root five to plus root five. So since uh, x is uh, lying within this particular domain, so now we need to choose that which solutions are actually within the domain minus root five to plus root five. So for that, we can do a simple analysis like minus root five to plus root five. So it's in the range of two point something minus two point something to plus two point something. So according to the that, uh, we can say that uh, it's going to be. Uh, my, this uh, minus sign will be chosen from the two possibility because um, that will be within the given domain of minus root 5 to plus root 5 and uh, here uh, the plus sign will be chosen um, so that uh, the root will be within the given domain so final answer of x will be x equal to minus 1 plus root 21 by 2 and Mm, 1 minus root 17 by 2. So these are the final two solution for x.